Okay, everybody, so today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up your controller on your OMTEC or OMTEC um, machine using the USB cable. So, uh, first things first, we got to come over here to the side of the machine, and I've got a 60 watt red black, um, so your location may vary, but down here we see a little panel, and if you can see it, it says USB to PC. So, I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB cord into that. And then um, I'm going to come up here to my computer, and I've got the other end of the cord here. Now I have an adapter because I only have the one USB um, port on my computer, and I've got my mouse plugged into it. So I've got an adapter to go to a USB. Um, I think that's a Type-C, and I'm going to plug that in there. So now I've got that in there. I've got a uh, connection established. Um, you may be going through installation for your very first time. If so, you automatically get a pop-up. Um, it's going to ask you to set up the controller. You may or may not be plugged in at that time. It doesn't really matter. You could set it up um, manually or you could use the Find My Laser. You could always cancel out of it and come back here later to the same, the same method. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click Devices. And sometimes you may find that it says um, it does say ready or disconnected even if you are plugged in. If that's the case, just close light burn out and open it back up. Uh, we'll see if it works here for me. So I'm going to go ahead and click this button devices here and then um, I've got a couple in there already but what I'll do is I'll click find my laser and then it's going to give me this warning um, that just basically or you know message pop-up box it basically just says make sure you have a USB connected so I'm going to go ahead and click next on that and then you see it ran real quick looks like I am connected um, so what what's next is okay now it says packet or serial I choose packet personally um, I'm not going to say that's the right answer or wrong answer, but I use packet and then I just go ahead and click add device. Now keep in mind if you do um, choose packet or serial and want to change it later, you can always come back in here uh, by clicking the devices button back over here again. So um, the next step is it's going to ask you what you'd like to call it and it's going to actually mine has dimensions populated into it already. So um, you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it that for now and then you'll want to enter your, your width right here um, yes your width right here and then your depth right here so your width being your right to left and your depth being your front to back over here now pay attention to the dimensions mine are in, inch in inches yours may be in millimeters especially if it's your first one so go ahead and click le uh, next and then it's going to ask you where you want the origin of your laser so when you started up your laser your gantry and laser nozzle should have gone to a particular corner that's what the, the corner you want to pick so mine is right rear and again, if you don't remember what it was, it's fine. You can come back in here and edit it later. So I'm going to click right rear. And then it says, that's it. You're all done. Here's the summary. So I go ahead and click finish. It added it into the list right there. Now, if you want, you could choose make default. Um, I'm not going to do that, but um, that's the way I do it. So anyways, that's all. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.